Hello and uh, welcome back. I'm on my way to Bloomies. Bloomies! and do Lombard Stera. It's nice and windy, very cold, but warming up with this climb and uh, I'll see you up there. There's the beast from the gap jump video. The GoPro doesn't do it justice, I can tell you that much. Okay, so I made it up to the top. A little less wind when it's coming from behind. I'm not going to do too much, I'm not going to put the seat down, I'm just going to feel it out. This is my first time doing trails again, so I'm a kind of sketched out about it. Oh, this is nice. Trail closed for maintenance. This trail is suitable for riders of all skills levels, however there are steep drop-offs and lines. Okay, let's do it. I haven't done this one before. A little skinny section here. Awesome. Let's check what the A-line is like. Big jump. Nice. I'm going for the B-line. So I haven't been to Blumendal in a while, since my last videos. This is definitely a heavy feature. I mean, there's a whole new trail over here with the A line and the B line for different skill levels. At the moment, I would say the B line is testing mine. So this is the new section coming down this way over here. You've got your B line. To the far side and your a-line nearer to me and uh, you can see right at the top there's a, a nice gap jump the berms are pretty decent here's a double up over here and a double over there but obviously the a-line ones are just a lot bigger and then you've got the gap jump from Lombard's Terra there with the layout poster lead layout Liat. I don't know. I should maybe give the skinny a go. I haven't done a skinny like ever. So that would be fun. Round two, let's go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> down the B line. Just roll it. That one. Oh, nice berm. 
that lid up. Uh, bricks. Sperm coming down. Mice. Whoa. Erosion has done its number. I should really put the seat down when I come down again. Oh, that was nice. Dropping the seat was not a good idea for one simple reason that I've got a bottle cage on my seat post and uh, doing the jumps or the drops or whatever that just uh, went right into the tire so I'm not gonna do that anymore what I'm gonna do is there's a few guys at the top they're kind of practicing the jumps so I'm gonna film them a little they agreed to be on camera so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that quickly Hoppie Brücke! So what's the secret? <laughs> just go for it! Go for it! I just went for it! This is like really just speed, just roll it yeah, you basically just flow over it, yeah, and you land in the in the. Yeah, the thing is, you just need to kind of keep your like sort of neutral body like slightly attack position. Yeah. And then as your wheel goes, you just kind of let it go flow down, and then your front wheel touches and your back wheel goes. Yeah. No oh, fuck me, that was scary as hell. But fine, that was fine. Are you gonna do it again? I'll try one more time. Just so I got the feeling before I leave. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna stand there and. Uh, Get it on camera. <laughs> no, don't crash. <laughs> so I'm um, here by two. Well, this is a gap jump, and that's a double, I think, or a table, they call it. And uh, these guys are gonna drop in now. Just check the size of this gap. I'm standing right next to it. They're gonna launch there, and then basically land over there somewhere, depending on your speed. So I'm gonna wait for them to come down and uh, just cam it. <laughs> the guy making all the noises done it for the first time today and that was his second attempt. Well, his second attempt of nailing it. I guess I'm the worst. Windy, windy, windy. So that's the A line one. This is the B line one. Uh, basically the same gap. Gonna get slightly more speed on the A line. So I think clearing it will be a lot easier on the A line. But uh, I'm gonna leave the C post up again and then I'm gonna do the the B line once more and then should I go for the A line and drop on the brakes I know my buddy, buddy Andrew would be very proud I've decided to be a little bit of an idiot I'm gonna do one more go down to check out the A line gap and then I'm gonna come back and try and see if I want to do it but I'm um, gonna try and do the skinny both times. So let's check. Yeah, what the hell? What do I have to lose except another collarbone? I must say, the skinny is intimidating. Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> I want to do it. 
should just go for it. Whatever happens, you're gonna stay here and call the ambulance, right? <laughs> Feel too good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're landing just on the lip there, so it will be. Oh, that's what the slam was about. Yeah, I, I kind of just when I went over this table, I, I kind of touched the brakes a little. Yeah, you better just because it just hack it. Speed your friend, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, what's your name? Byron. Byron. Well, pleased to meet you and thank you for, for taking some clips. No worries. <laughs> okay, I know what I have to do. As I come into that table, I should just leave the brakes alone and just go for it. So let's go. So uh, I didn't end up doing more trails, but I did do a new trail, which I've never done before, and at the same time I did a jump that I, I probably wasn't ready for, and uh, yeah, it worked out. I knocked the air out of my rear tire, but uh, yeah, baby steps. I had to I had to work through it. I'd like to thank everybody for today for helping me build up the confidence to go and do that jump. Um, especially Byron at the end, getting some clips and sending them off to me. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you in the next one.